Hey everybody, for this video I'm going to walk through how to set up your Amazon S3 service onto your Terra Station. So we're going to start by looking at the Amazon Web Services account dashboard, assuming that you already have an S3 account. We're going to click on the IAM section. And under the user section, the account we're using for this demo is called TS Tester. We just need to make sure that the account we use has the administrator access policy assigned. So if you're creating a new user, be sure to download the credentials so that you have the access key ID and the secret access key available. Next we'll look at our buckets in the S3 dashboard and determine which bucket we want to use. So the thing to keep in mind here is that if you create a brand new bucket, you'll have to wait about 24 hours before that bucket will actually be visible to the Terra Station. So in our case, we're just going to use an existing bucket named Buff Test. And you'll see that it's empty right now. And now that we have everything ready on the Amazon side, let's go ahead and move over to the Terra Station interface. So the setting we're looking for is under Web Services, and it's labeled Cloud Storage. And to start it, click the Configuration button right here to the right. If you click Add, in this case, obviously, we're going to use the Amazon S3 service. And once you enter the bucket name you want to use, in our case, it was Buff Test. You can copy and paste that access key ID and the secret access key that you downloaded from Amazon when you first created the bucket. And I have our credentials blurred out for security. So next we'll create a shared folder to use and we're just going to call ours S3 test to make things easy but of course you can call it whatever you like. Okay, so here we can select different options during the folder creation process. I'm going to disable the recycle bin because I don't want deleted files to get replicated to my S3 bucket, but you can certainly choose whatever options work best for you. Hang tight here while this finishes up. So once the folder is created, the service is automatically enabled. And you'll see that with the blue button here on the right. Now just to test things out, I'm going to copy a file over to that new folder that we created called S3 Test. And once we have this file copied over, we'll go back to our S3 bucket that we called buff test. So right now it's empty, but after refreshing the page, we see that our file has been automatically replicated over to our bucket. So there you have it. Amazon S3 cloud service is integrated into your Terra station.